हेलो फ्रेंड्स और नेक्स्ट स्पीड मेजरमेंट डिवाइस इज स्लिप रिंग क्लच टैकोमीटर ओके सो इन दिस द नेम और द डिवाइस गिवन द क्लच यू ऑल नो व्हाट इज मीन बाय क्लच इट इज अ डिवाइस व्हिच कैन एंगेज एंड डिसंगेज द इंजन पावर फ्रॉम एंटायर ट्रांसमिशन सिस्टम ओके ऑन द व्हील ऑफ ड्राइवर सो दैट फिनोमिनॉन वी आर यूजिंग हियर टू मेजर अ स्पीड ऑफ द any device or any shaft okay so before uh, proceeding to the actual slip ring clutch tachometer we will come to know or we will uh, we'll know the what is uh, clutch okay and how it get engaged okay so please concentrate on this diagram so here is a uh, one shaft which is rotating at some rpm and it has a clutch plate uh, uh, named a and another shaft is there which is at rest now and it has a plate b okay to the a there is a friction material this dark portion is the friction material which is attached to it okay now when we gradually engage i am saying gradually means slowly okay when we gradually engage uh, the plate b uh, with a means if we will push this towards the left side slowly then what will happen now concentrate on the this diagram what will happen uh, now slowly the b start rotating as the friction area is between these two plates okay so this works on the phenomenon of friction so now uh, at after certain time the uh, scenario will become that shaft a if it is rotating with some rpm n so after some time similarly b will start rotating with the same speed and at that time we can say the clutch is fully engaged okay now this phenomenon of the clutch we are using here in the slip ring clutch tachometer okay so let's see the construction here is the input shaft okay whose speed we have to measure in between here is the device that is known as the slip ring clutch okay so here means internally here is the friction lining or friction material okay then here is the clutch which is movable and we have to we can move towards the right and towards the left okay and it has the shaft attached with the some mechanical arrangement of spiral spring and at last there is a pointer which can move over the calibrated scale okay now let's concentrate on the working now when input shaft start rotating whose speed we have to measure what we will do we will push, push this uh, slippering clutch towards the left hand side and it will be fully engaged with this uh, other say this is the a disc and this is the b disc so a disc will be uh, moving initially and b is at stationary so when we move this b disc towards the left hand side it will gradually engage with the a disc and now at after certain time the position will come that a and b will start rotating at the same speed okay now what we have to do what we have to observe through this mechanical linkages this pointer will move okay so now we have to just take a reading from this calibrated scale it will be in a rpm okay so this is what the uh, slip ring slip ring clutch tachometer i'll repeat once again the working when the input shaft is rotating uh, say link a is also rotating but b is at rest okay now what we have to do we have to push this b link towards the or it is also known as the slip ring clutch clutch towards the left hand side so this friction uh, uh, material or friction surface will come uh, in close contact and due to that what will happen a will rotate with the same speed no, sorry b will rotate with the same speed as of the a okay now further what we have to observe through this mechanical linkages the pointer move on this calibrated scale so we have to observe the pointer and we will get the rpm this is what the one one of the method of uh, speed measurement okay thank you